right on cue. The Avenger of the Vortex, Beisht. Who is that? Osile's wife. Final follower of the Overlord of the Vortex. Sounds like you knew this was coming! Beto sensed something was stirring in the deep. She warned me months ago. Knowing she harbors hatred toward the Jade Chamber, I chose to rebuild it now as a way of drawing her out. Got it. Well, <clears throat> let's go fetch the Adepti. No. Huh? In this human age, the people of Liyue must find a way to overcome this crisis on our strength alone. Child, your life brings nothing but disaster to us all. At least if you die, I can bring her back. The day you learn how to use your strength for the good of others is the day that you can truly become part of human society.
stabilize. Cross over. My ordinance divine. This is order. Stabilize. is unstable. It is too risky to continue pursuing her. <sighs> I'm just a little exhausted. Otherwise, fine. I wanted to deal with it myself. I didn't expect you to follow me. Don't worry. She's not coming back anytime soon. After an injury like that, she'll likely seek refuge somewhere else. How did things go underwater? It's been dealt with. She was injured before entering the water. It didn't take too much effort to finish the job. Good. So the crisis has been safely averted. When you visit the Jade Chamber in the future, you will be afforded generous treatment. Lady Ningguang, the fleet reports that the sea monster has left Guyan Stone Forest and the surrounding waters have returned to normal. Thank you. How are the Millilith? Thanks to the medical supplies you prepared and Lady Keqing's command, our losses were minimal. Of course, we owe huge thanks to this young lady for her help. On behalf of the entire Melilith, thank you for your service. I... Uh... Great. Then next time I watch Miss Yun's opera, I'll be able to take the compliments. I wasn't trying to be a hero, though. I just wanted to protect you. Let the soldiers recuperate, but don't let your guard down. If she returns with a vengeance, we must be prepared. Yes, ma'am. You've been monitoring us for some time now. I trust you've reached a conclusion. Hmm. You wish to hear one's opinion. Well, things would have hardly gone so smoothly had it not been for Shen He. That I do not deny. However, final victory was always going to be ours, even had things been a little more arduous. If it came to it, I could always destroy another Jade Chamber. One has observed your adaptation of the Guizhong Ballista, and find oneself compelled to admit that you have evidenced some degree of novel thinking. You have learned from past failures and prepared for this crisis in advance. This is considerable progress compared to the last time. Hence, on balance, one finds your performance during this trial satisfactory enough. But there will no doubt be further trials to come in the future. Do not suppose that one will not continue observing you hereafter. While the position of Tianjuan remains mine, I will always ensure Liyue's safety. Shen he. One saw you secretly venture out from the mountains a few years ago, and noticed the air of dejection in which you returned. Hopefully this trip to Liyue Harbor has been a different experience. Yes. I can't explain it, but... I feel happier than I expected. Hmm. Good. Traveler, please take good care of Shen He. She is a dear child. In fact, one has many fond memories of Shen He's childhood that she may be interested to hear about. There'll be no need for that. Oh. Hm. They are all like this. 
Fine. Since you care not to listen, one shan't be telling you. One shall be going homeward now. Please, have a good rest. Come to the Jade Chamber when you have recovered your energy. We must celebrate both the completion of the Jade Chamber and the fact that Liyue has weathered another crisis. This banquet must be the most spectacular ever.